Hi, this is Mr. Baglio with a quick instructional video about torque. Since I'm not there to teach it in class, I figured I'd do it by video. So what is torque? Torque is a force that changes the rotation of an object. In simple terms, it's a twist or a turn, just as force was a push or a pull. Here, there's the world of linear movement where things move in lines. Linear means lines and the rotational world, where things move in circles and arcs. We've studied these. So, inertia is something's reluctance to move or change its motion. In the rotational world, it's called rotational inertia. In the linear world, force is a push or pull that can accelerate an object. In the rotational world, a torque is something that changes the rotation of an object. And finally, momentum is how strongly something's moving. Like if a, a train has a lot of momentum, it's hard to stop, for example. Something that's spinning and it's hard to stop has a lot of angular momentum. These two things something can have. These two things are interactions. So something can't have torque, just like something can't have force. Now, torque is everywhere. Anytime something is rotating, there's torque. So, notice, paper towel holder. If I pull the paper towels, the roll rotates. I'm applying a force here, and it is rotating around this axle. Here, there's a knob on the sink. If I push it, it's like a lever. If I push it, it will rotate around the little axle that's inside there. If I push it close to the end, it's a little harder to move than if I push it far out. We'll talk about why that is in a second. And then finally, we have um, a lever like a ratchet. If I put this in and try and tighten or loosen a bolt, I'm tightening it or loosening it, and I can't push any harder, something that I can do actually to make it easier is put a section of pipe on. So now I've extended the radius by giving myself a longer lever arm. Then I grab down here and I can easily undo the bolt. The last thing is even opening a door or a cupboard, you're applying a torque because it's rotating around the hinges and as I pull it open, I'm applying a torque all the way out here. If I try to open it here, it's actually really hard for the same reason. I don't have much leverage. So in all these things, here's the paper towels. I apply a force to the towel, and here's the radius, the distance which I, uh, away from the center, or you can define it as the distance from the center or axis of rotation to the point where the force is applied. Here's the wrench with the extended handle. I'm applying a force, pulling it with my hand and the radius is this long, and the cabinet door. It pivots like that, so I push on the knob to close it, and this is the radius, the distance from the axis of rotation to where the force is applied. There are two places on your car where this really occurs. You have torque applied to the lever arm of your mousetrap by the spring, so it wants to go in an arc and snap, now where is it applied? Is it applied up here? No, no, no. It is applied here. Why? Because that's where the spring from the trap finally wraps around. So it's actually applying its force right here, even though the whole thing moves. And this is the string. It's pulling on the string as it snaps down. The other part on your car that experiences torque is the axle. This is the wheel. This smaller circle is the brass axle and this is a thicker axle that might be caused by you wrapping tape around it. So as you wrap tape around it you make it thicker and you increase the distance since the string is this outer string here is wrapping around the thickened part of the axle you're actually increasing the radius. Now what effect does that have on torque? Well here's the formula. Torque equals force times radius. The torque, T, or the Greek letter tau, equals force times radius, F times R. 
force measured in newtons, radius measured in meters, and the units of torque are in newton meters. Now, you can't get the mousetrap to pull any harder. Well, actually, that's not necessarily true. If you shorten the lever arm, you will get more of that force. So let's say you want to get as much torque as possible on your wheels. You would cut this way down, have the string go, and then you would thicken it with a nice um, coating of tape. That would increase the radius because even if you can't increase the force, if you increase the radius, you increase the torque. This is especially good for speed cars. When you increase the torque, however, sometimes you get too much torque and the wheels will skid out against the floor, in which case you either can reduce the torque by taking away some tape, lengthening the lever arm, or increase the friction with the floor with some balloons on your wheels to act as tires. For a distance car, torque is not as critical because you have a longer race. And every wrap around this actually means that you are shortening the distance your car can go. It can get there faster, but you're shortening the distance because each wrap of string around the axle now takes up more. Initially, when you just had a brass axle, maybe one centimeter of string could unroll this wheel its full circumference, which would be probably almost about 40 centimeters. So everything is a balance and a compromise. You don't want too much torque, but you want enough. You don't want to uh, sacrifice distance, um, but you might be willing to sacrifice a little distance for speed. So this is torque. Thank you for watching. If you have any questions, please email. Goodbye.